guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh my god. The lashes are now gone. But yeah, as you can tell, um, this is probably the most bare face that I've ever been on my channel. I have literally been so scared about even just filming myself with no lashes on. I don't think I've ever let anyone see me with no lashes. The quicker we get on with this makeup video, the better because yeah i actually curled my hair last night with socks she just woke up pulled them out gave it a little bit of a brush and they were done so i was pretty impressed i'm just gonna be doing like a little like soft glam stay indoors makeup look so i have already moisturized my face all i need to do is prime it the primer i'm going to be using is the benefits professional one this is like one of my favorite ones to use but i'm actually like running quite low on it so Oh, oh Christ. I also tried contouring my face last night as well with fake tan. Um, it didn't go too bad to be fair. I'm actually quite impressed. Okay, so that's the face all primed. I like to set my eyelids with a concealer and then set it with a powder on top. Um, this just kind of gives you a bit of a clean base to work with. So... I'm just using my, the label's gone off because it's so old. I'm going to use this over my eyelid and then obviously blend that in. Because we don't want to, oh wow. I'm just going to blend that in. Um, and then I'm just going to get my loose powder. So just ignore in the background, I have actually got Good Like Charlie on. A Disney Plus, so let me know if you've got Disney Plus. Best thing has happened in this whole lockdown. I'm just going to set my eyes on top. I've got the Jacqueline Hill um, Morphe palette. I've got two palettes that I'm going to be switching between. I've got the Jacqueline Hill um, Morphe palette and then just the regular Morphe palette. I'm going to go in as a transition shade with these two colours and just mix them both together. So I'm just mixing those two colours and go straight into my crease like not moving the brush up or down literally just going in and out of my crease okay so you start to get a little, little base there so I'm just gonna do my other eye off camera okay so that's both eyes now done so the next shade I'm then going to go in with is this one here. I'm just going to go in the crease again and let the brush do its work. Like so. Again, literally just doing a little like upside down U and just keep going over and over. I'm still using the same brush. Um, but this just gives the crease a bit more of a, a deeper a deeper line in there and it just makes the colour a bit deeper. up a little bit i'm just gonna use where is it this color here which is like a nice light like brown it's not too dark and it's kind of like a rich brown it's got like a hint of red in it i'm gonna mainly focus it in the corner and then kind of just whatever's left on the brush then work into the crease quite subtle I'm gonna go in with this color here so it's kind of like a creamy color but it's got a shimmer to it Um, this will kind of just give a bit of highlight in the inner part of the eye but not too much I've not 
actually really use this um, palette that much and um, I've been using it a lot recently obviously to mess around with and I was like oh my god why have I not like played around with eyeshadow much I think it's because I had my eye like eyelash extensions in and I think because obviously they are a pain like to have to do eye like, like eyeshadows with so I tend to literally just not really wear eyeshadows that much when I have my extensions in so it's quite like even though I miss them so much it's quite nice not having them in because I'm able to like play around with eyeshadows that's now the shimmer put on the front of the eyes and um, I'm then just gonna blend that a little bit just gonna grab it's it doesn't look clean but my brushes have been clean but these have just stained from some real strong bloody like pigment I use I'm literally just gonna use this just to kind of like go over where I've stopped with the shimmer and with the brown that I use and just kind of blend it so that's the eyeshadows done i'm quite impressed with that the eyelashes i'm going to be using are the ones that i showed in my last video and they are the anastasia dull beauty ones i'm just going to cut these to the length um that i'll need i've just cut my lashes and put some glue on there i'm just going to leave them for the glue to go tacky i actually have like a little I've actually not shown you how I put my strip lashes on because I've obviously always been a little bit sneaky and put them on before I've filmed. But I do actually have um, a way of putting them on that I can't really do. I can't do them any other way. So basically what I will then do is while I wait for the, the eyelashes to go, the glue on the eyelashes to go tacky, I always, always, always put some liner on. It doesn't have to be neat in the slightest, like I'm not doing a wing, I'm literally just doing a little bit over the top. It's just nice to have that guideline and I like to like obviously pinch mine. It's weird, it, it's just the technique that I use. So I always line my eyelashes, um, line my eyes with eyeliner and then I'll tell you my, ne my next little tip. <laughs> My top top tip with putting eyelashes on, I literally swear by it. You get your glue. What I do is I put like a thin layer of glue along the eyeliner that you've just put, like as close as obviously to your eyelash as you can. Try not to get it in your eyes because I've done that before and it's just a mess. And then your eyes water in and then your eyelashes won't stick on and we all know we all know what that situation's like. So I'm just going to put the glue along, I've just put a thin line of glue along the lash line. I'm just going to do the same on the other side. So I'm just going to now wait for that glue to dry my eyelids. I think it's time for the lashes to go on. I tell you that's not going anywhere I feel a lot more human I can tell you that now look at that biggest catfish over here I do not care today because it's okay because I'm gonna put these on <laughs> Lashes applied. I'm just gonna go in with my mascara. Um, this is, I think this is. I'm pretty sure this is Soap and Glory Thick and Fast High Definition Mascara. And I'm literally just gonna. I'm not gonna stroke up. I'm just gonna blink onto the brush just for obviously the the bottom of it, just so it blend my lashes in. Honestly, really impressed with these eyelashes. 
So I'm just gonna come in real close. Excuse the stay on my face. Not too bad, not too shabby. <laughs> Ignore the brows as well, my brows. So now we've got the eyes done, we're gonna go in with the face. I don't need anything like dramatically dark. So I'm mixing my Maybelline 24 Hour Stay. This is in the shade Light Beige 05. And I'm using shade F10 in the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. I mix that together and just see if that would match. I don't actually even know if I've got enough product. So I'll just wipe the excess product off the end of my makeup stick. Um, I'm gonna apply this with my Nanshimi Flawless Foundation F01 brush. Um, I'm just gonna literally apply that as you would normally. And blend it in to the neck. Seal my face with a Conceal and Define Infinite and it's in the shade C005. Um, I do think this is a little bit light for me. Yeah, it's very, very light. I did get a bit of a lighter shade, but. And then just to kind of like carve out my collarbone. Oh, I've done it again. Carve out my cheekbone. I'm just going to use my Maybelline eraser. So, and then just got to blend my concealer. Blend help. my concealer. Help. concealed and foundation that I'm looking very like wowzer at the minute <laughs> next I'm gonna go in with my con uh, my contour so this is from primer it's literally just a foundation and contour stick it's like a pound and this is in the shade caramel we're just gonna line it a little bit there and do the same on the other side Put the dots there on my forehead where I want that monstrosity to be contoured and then just a little like thin line down the nose. My foundation and concealer I use this side but to contour I use this part so now I'm just going to blend that in with my beauty blender. Okay, so that is now my foundation contour applied. So you're just gonna get some loose powder. This is from Primark. This is in the shade Ivory. It was two pounds. I think I've already showed this powder in the video where I bought some products from Primark. I'm still using it. It's really, really good. It really sets my under eye. <laughs> my hula bronzer and I'm going to use this brush which is the RT400 um, Real Techniques. Just going to give that a little bit of a 
jejuneur. Um, yeah. contour everything done so what i'm then gonna go in with and do is my blush and so i'm going in with the revolution one again this is also something new that i purchased um in my last video so i kind of wanted to do a bit of a video as well to show you what these products look like I'm really loving this blush at the minute it gives out such a lovely color and it's not too it's not too much I'm gonna go in with my other blusher again i've lost the lid this is so old uh, but i know it's from revolution and it's the peach and glow and i'm just going to use this square and this is a blusher as well and um, but it's got a bit of a shimmer to it so i'm just gonna lightly add that on top um because i don't want to have two pinker cheeks otherwise i'll look very weird um so next i'm then going to apply my highlighter again I'm using this as like a little bit of a base highlight and then I've got another one. So I'm just lightly going to this square, which is where the highlight is. I've used the lightest shade, that's completely gone. So I'm now onto like the little baby pink section. I'm just using my little angle brush and lightly putting that on my cheekbones. And then I'm changing the brush and the highlighter. Um, I'm using the new one that I got from Ofra. Like, it's so pigmented and they were right, like, it's blinding. So I'm just using this brush. This is the R2, um, RT402 um, and this is a setting brush, but again, I'm using it for a highlighter. <laughs> Okay, so last but not least, I do my eyebrows last. It's so backwards, I know, but I just prefer to do my eyebrows last. I'm just using a brow sketcher, um, which is from um, Pretty Little Thing, Primark. This was actually a pound or like 50p. I'm gonna use this and then I'm gonna go in with some shadow, because um, I quite like using an eyeshadow on my brows. And just use one of the brown. I can't even get it open. Oh my god! Yep. So I'm just going to use one of the brown shades on here, and that will be this one. And then I'm just going to fill in the rest of the brow. So I filled them in. This one needs some real serious attention with some concealer because it's. It's a bit messy. So I'm just gonna get rid of that and get my eyebrow pencil again. Um, roll that bad boy up and now I'm just gonna flick the front to give it almost like a, a natural look as much as I can. See, I can see a wasp and it's trying to get in. Think again, buddy, because you ain't coming in. I got in here yesterday. Oh my god. So that's the brows badly done. That'll do. And now I'm literally just going to go in with my razor again, flathead brush. And just dip that in the concealer. I'm just gonna clean up my brows without like ruining the eyeshadow that you've done earlier. Yeah, I'm looking a little bit more humane. Um, so now it's time for the lips. So I'm literally just gonna apply 
um, some Carmex. So I've got this Ted Baker lipstick and this is in the shade, it doesn't even say. I got this for Christmas, but it doesn't actually say the shade. It's more like a lip balm, but it just gives like a little bit of a base colour. And then I'm going to go in with this Velvet lip colour um, and it's Karen Millen. And apply very badly <laughs> I need my lips done so that is the final look I really really hoped you enjoyed this video I just thought it'd be really nice to just do a soft glam look for you all even if like we are stuck in the house let me know if there's any other eyeshadow looks you'd like me to attempt but all the time in the world so just let me know and I'll I'll give it a go if you are new here please hit the subscribe button it will mean the world to me I'm gonna try and upload like every Friday, maybe on a Monday as well. So like uploading every Monday and Friday, let me know what you guys think. But I'd like to start getting into a bit of a routine of when I'm going to be uploading content to my channel. So yeah, keep your eyes peeled and I'll be back soon.